if you had to see what I did. Cow think the way in will laugh out loud. That's some real stupidity. Think I got here by using these little bitty. I give her no but of a lie. I wish that all it took was a the fame was a side effect, side effect. Yeah, we'd all be drinking flavor Kool-Aid, and they'd be like a billion Kim K's. I've been saying oh my god. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week, and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. An intimate venue, always a fine place to take in a match, Vicarage Road. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. It's Watford, and they take on Norwich City. Yeah, great to be here. How lucky are we, Derek? We get paid for this. Astonishing, really. Looking forward to a fabulous game. I'm sure the fans are too. Should be great. Can they take the lead? What's an important piece of defending. And well, they're trying to get right into his face. Lewis. Kenny McLean now. Fluency of movement. Lewis. Moritz Leitner. Top class defending. Well, I know the home side are very proud of this particular statistic. They can boast the best defensive record in the league, Lee. Well, with a defence like this, Derek, you have a real chance to win any game. The opposition know that too. So when they get a chance, they better take it as the scrap. He's in with a chance. A one-on-one -on -one situation and the goalkeeper prevails in the duel. Advantage is always with the attacking player because he's got the ball. You've got to take the ball off him. He does a brilliant job on that occasion. And did his job defensively. And intercepted it. And a fine tackle. And threading it forward, and there it is, 1-0, the efforts have been rewarded, and look at the celebrations. Well, as we can see, the keeper's done his best, but there's nothing he can do from there, he's not going to miss that one. A chance to revisit the goal. The opening goal of the game, then. Well, news coming through of a penalty. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a penalty for Brentford. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Can he score? Can he keep his nerve? Strike? Yes, he can. Power and precision. Great penalty. 28 minutes played, 1-1. Cheers again, Alan. And he's made headway. Will he? Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. And let's join Alan McAnally now, because I'm hearing there's been a goal on the Sheffield Wednesday match. Alan. It's the second goal for Bournemouth. 33 minutes played, 2-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. And that is offside. Hughes. How far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. 
The visitors have totally controlled possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the white. This could be the equaliser. Oh, but he's missed it. He's completely failed the test. Well, the opportunity presented itself and it should really be level. They have to be more composed in front of goal for sure, more clinical. Wonderfully weighted pass. Clean through, he won then but he's fluffed his lines Lee well he just put his head down Derek and hit it he's got to do better than that Dini Hughes Dowell well he's given us away Hughes Dini as anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway Robinson Since throw in is given coming off the pitch Lucas Rupp giving the ball away Aaron's Troy Dini here. Will he play it in? Femenia setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Kieran Dowell. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Dowell. Oh, in with a chance! And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Even Steven won a piece on this match. And news of a goal in the Brentford game. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a third goal for Brentford. 66 minutes played, 3-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Simple for the keeper. Life is never dull in the Championship. Live action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Watford, and they'll be taking on Huddersfield Town. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Dowell. And that's an important intervention. He's played it over to the near post. And just narrowly wide in the end. I believe there's been a goal on the Sheffield Wednesday game. Alan McAnally has the news. It's another goal for Bournemouth. 75 minutes played, 5-0. Chances on. Trying to lob the keeper. Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Well, Derek, the chip was always on. Keeper caught in no man's land, but it's still a difficult skill and it's a lovely finish. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Can they get in behind them? This could level it. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Well, the crowd have reacted to this effort, the players have put... And in with a real chance. Is it going to be? And up for grabs off the keeper. It is to be a throw-in. 
Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Deo Lefeu, and it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. And only two minutes remaining here. Well, they know they need to stop him, but it can't get all the way through. Well, on the volley, that's not how he had planned it in his mind. No, he certainly saw the ball going in a different direction than it went in. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. And there it is, the final whistle, and it's the Watford fans who'll be going home.